A 34-year-old father of five with an adventurous spirit embarked on a group camping journey in Utah. His inquisitiveness led him to explore a rather dangerous cave, the Beware Cave, with no guided tour. Not long after, he disappeared into this dangerous cave. The Bates family ranch serves as a destination for those who enjoy the rugged outdoors. The ranch, nestled on the border of the expansive Great Basin, attracts both hunters and thrill-seekers due to its arid surroundings, creating a small oasis of excitement. A distinctive highlight of this remote camping site is the remarkable Crystal Ball Cave, which stands as the Bates Family Ranch's main attraction. Discovered for the first time in 1956, this impressive limestone cave is often likened to a colossal geode that you can explore. As you venture inside the cave, you'll find crystal formations adorning the walls, ceiling, and even the floor, creating a captivating underground wonderland. One more thing that draws people to the ranch is the Beware Cave. It's called this because it's risky, and exploring it can be dangerous. Unlike the Crystal Ball Cave, the Beware Cave doesn't have those shiny crystals or other things that families would enjoy. It's not safe for people who don't know much about diving. But even with the name Beware Cave, the cave and the pools of water nearby still brings families here. The Bates family themselves take people on tours without charging them. Every day, they show off these unique features on their property. This is why their ranch is special and different from all the other places in the world. On this specific day, Tuesday, March 23, 2004, a man named Jesus Manriquez, a 34-year-old father of five children, headed to the Bates family ranch located in western Utah, along with his family and friends. They plan to enjoy a few days of camping, having a good time, and discover new things around that place. One thing they were excited about was getting the chance to explore Crystal Ball Cave, so they made sure to put it at the very top of their to-do list. Even though they were all excited about the camping trip and the Crystal Ball Cave tour, there was something that nobody knew about Jesus. He had a different reason for being interested in this journey. He secretly had his mind set on something else, something that doesn't have any guided tours and might even be a little scary. Jesus was curious about finding the Beware Cave. He had heard people talk about it, and it intrigued him. What he had heard was that the Beware Cave is actually where a freshwater spring comes from. The water in that spring is always at a warm and comfortable temperature of 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Jesus had made up his mind to discover this hidden gem for himself and experience the unique freshwater spring firsthand. As they continued on their 30-mile journey, which was about 45 minutes north of Highway 50 on a county dirt road, they got to Gandy, Utah. They followed a twisting dirt road that went on for quite a few minutes until they finally reached their intended destination. Right in front of them, they saw the rocky peak of Spring Mountain. At one point, it even seemed like that they might drive directly up the side of the mountain, but then the road took a sharp turn. It turned out that this road formed a loop, and at the highest point of the loop, there was a gravel area where they could stop. This was the exact spot they were aiming for. The group pulled over, parked their vehicle in the designated area, and everyone got out of the car. As they walked towards the edge of the road, looking out at the slope of Spring Mountain, their faces lit up with smiles of excitement and anticipation. This promised to be an amazing experience because the beauty of the ranch began to unfold right there in front of their eyes. Just beside the edge of the road, at this very spot, there's a little body of water. Imagine a swimming pool, but this was beautifully crafted by nature itself. If you look closely, you'll notice a tiny waterfall gently pouring in from one side, adding to the already wondrous scene. However, what truly surprises Jesus and the rest of the group is that the fact that this pool is just the middle part of a trio of pools. As they explored further, they came across another pool, which was smaller in size and had a shape similar to that of a jacuzzi. As if nature planned it to create more beautiful scenery, it was located a bit higher up on the hill. Additionally, down below was the third pool. 
This one is narrower, and its waters flow steadily, creating a peaceful and soothing ambiance in this beautiful setting. While the family and friends joyfully started swimming in the unexpectedly warm and inviting waters of this oasis, Jesus soon spotted another significant aspect of the middle pool. On the opposite side of the pool, something captured his attention, a cave. Despite the absence of any official markers or signs indicating its presence, a knowing feeling assured him that this was it, the Beware Cave. With excitement growing within him, Jesus glanced at his loved ones, all fully involved in fun activities and relaxing in the pool. He announced to the group that he was going to explore the cave he had just discovered. He was excited about this finding, oblivious to what lay ahead in this unknown territory. Jesus gathered his family and friends to explore the Beware Cave. Step by step, each of them followed his lead, swimming beneath the stalactite barrier and entering the cave. Like a procession of adventurers, they dive through the twisting tunnel. As they move along, Jesus and the rest of the group find themselves collecting rocks. They were amazed at the amazing scenery that lay beneath the desert landscape of western Utah. It was as though they had been instantly transported to an entirely different realm. Nature is indeed beautiful, but it can also be dangerous if not explored carefully. As time went on, a sense of unease began to creep over some members of the group. The initial awe and excitement started to give way to a growing restlessness and discomfort. The tunnel they found themselves in was narrow and quite uncomfortably cramped, making them wonder about the true extent of this mysterious passageway. Uncertainty filled their minds as they wondered how far the tunnel would stretch and can they be certain that the water level won't change unexpectedly. Not everyone has a daring, adventurous mindset, so they started to express their decision to turn back. This did not make Jesus happy. He had thought they would be as thrilled as he was, but he couldn't force them to continue on this journey, so he accepted their decision, but he won't turn back with them. They tried to make him join them in leaving, but he had no intention of doing so. His curiosity remained strong, and he revealed his desire to go further into the cave while collecting rocks along the way. They begrudgingly accepted his decision because they also couldn't force it. So they began their journey back towards the entrance of the cave. They carried the rocks they'd gathered so far in their arms as they made their way out. However, they cautioned Jesus not to take too long on this solitary exploration within the depths of the cave. Once they emerged from the cave into the light of day, they dipped into the calming pool and enjoyed the peaceful surroundings. They continued this for the next several minutes. As time passed, a few minutes turned into a bit more, followed by a few more beyond that. To their growing concern, it became evident that Jesus had not yet made his way back to them. Filled with worry, his family members quickly made their way to a residence close by in Gandhi. Understanding the gravity of the situation, the resident of the house acted quickly, immediately contacting the local police to request assistance. During that very afternoon, the management overseeing the cave became aware of the likely emergency. Without delay, a group of dedicated rescue workers rushed to the scene, ready to offer the necessary help for the situation at hand. When they arrived at the spot, they saw that Jesus' friends and family were worried and in a state of panic. They were going into the cave with fear on their faces. The rescuers had to carefully move through the same strange tunnel, hoping to locate him on time. Finally, they managed to locate him, but not in the way they had wished. He was not moving or breathing. He was lying unconscious in a tight space inside the tunnel. Getting him out looked difficult. After getting him out, Jesus' friends and family were then given the sad news that he was no longer alive. It seemed like he had drowned, which made his passing even more tragic and hard to understand. His loved ones were left in shock and sadness, trying to come to terms with the sudden loss. Unfortunately, the exact reasons behind his passing couldn't be determined. They focused a lot on the pointy rock blockage hanging from the ceiling, which they had to go through underwater because it was dangerous. 
It made the chances of something bad happening increase a lot. But from the reports, this doesn't appear to be the cause of his demise. Based on the information in the National Speleological Society's database of cave accidents, it was mentioned that Manriquez was found stuck in the tunnel because of the force of the water. This description isn't very clear and doesn't tell us exactly what happened. His family and friends were left with so many questions. We would like to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching, take a dive on the like and subscribe buttons and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we come back with another exciting story.